Hello, hello everyone. This is Fabienne and I am joined by Bethany McClellan and she is here to share with us her journey of entrepreneurship in the last couple of years. Bethany, uh, so glad to have you here. Once again, we adore hearing from you. And uh, just first, let's start with you telling uh, our listeners today what you do. Just tell us about your business. Sure. Um, my business is Rapid Business Plans, and we write business plans and feasibility studies for companies getting SBA and USDA loans. And we do it really quickly. Hmm, love that. Uh, the really quickly part is like something that, that sets you apart. So take me back to right before we first met and right before you joined Bold Heart. What was your business like? Tell me what was working, but also what were your challenges? What were your, your chronic um, uh, disappointments or frustrations, just because there are people listening today who are in your before, and sometimes they think it's just them. Uh, and they don't realize that everybody goes through this process, so they want to hear it from your words. What was it like before? Well, I had been in business probably um, four or five years at that point, and I had made the shift from doing a lot of hourly consulting to writing these reports for people getting SBA loans. And I was at the point where I couldn't like produce them and then market the way I wanted to. And then I was still like kind of like overwhelmed with some of the hourly consulting that I still had clients for. And um, I went to my first conference just maybe a month before at that same JW in Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, that was the mindset retreat a month later. And I was like, oh, I know how to market this. I need to go to all these lender conferences. I need to meet all these lenders. And, um, uh, and then a month later I was invited to the mindset retreat, um, at the same hotel, which I was like, kind of, I don't know, I was skeptical because I was like, you know, um, it sounded, you know, uh, kind of woo to me at the time, which mm -hmm. like now I'm like, I'm, I'm, I got my own, you know, level of woo going on. Mm -hmm. Um, but I went to the mindset retreat and, um, I immediately could see because you had said, you know, if you're passionate about what you do, I can market the crap out of that. And, um, you just need to do these things, which like involved a list of like, either hypnosis or you know, neuro-linguistic programming or things like that. And you said, if you do these things, I can get you to a million. And I'm like, I want to make a million dollars a year mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. So I signed up for the program and um, hired my first two people like immediately. And it helped me so much because I had someone that was able to follow up on the marketing that I was doing. And I had someone that was able to put systems in place. And so the first person was a marketing assistant. And then the second person was my OBM who's they're both still with me today. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're awesome. One of them is my best friend from childhood, so she's not going anywhere. But um, uh, Larissa, our OBM, is amazing. Um, and now she's our project manager. And so what happened was I got into the program. COVID happened um, not long after. And we pivoted. And we started helping companies get disaster loans through the SBA. And we really did a lot of good work with that, although I was extremely overwhelmed. I mean, I like, how could I complain? I went from doing, like you know, eight to 10,000 a month. And then I joined Bold Heart. I immediately doubled that. And then, um, you know, with um, some of the COVID work we were doing, I had some of the best months I'd had to date, although we're doing considerably better than that now years later. But, um, you know, it was a really busy time for me. And then when it came time to transition back to feasibility studies and business plans, then, um, you know, we had the structure in place to do that because we had created it along the way. Um, we finally... Um, I finally hired some more people to help me with production because for the longest time I thought that um, I thought that I was the only one that could write these business plans like this. And it turns out that like if you just give people a little bit, like they'll do it better than you ever did. So um, that's been that's been amazing. I look at some of the business plans that I used to write, and I'm like, oh, we write them much better now uh, when yeah. everyone else does them. And I, I thought, go ahead. Oh no, well no, please go ahead. I think that there's this this feeling when we start our business that. We there's a bunch of myths. The first one is that um, we're the only ones who can do it, and so we end up becoming like control enthusiasts. But then we we stay stuck in the day to day delivery, in the day to day marketing, in the day to day like everything aspect of our business, and we don't give the business a chance to grow because we're white knuckling the whole thing. And I think there's also this myth that says that the person who started the business has to be involved in everything and uh, right. of running it. And what I've seen you develop, but before we even get there, like you, you, you were at, you were at 8K a month mm -hmm. and you doubled to what, like 
16 to sure. so, now let's see. So actually, I, w I did about 120,000 um, the year before I started working with Bold Heart. And then um, at the end of that year, started working with you guys. And then the next year, we did like 350,000. So wow. that was like, yeah, almost tripling um, what we had done. So that was, yeah, that was for me, like, you know, an excellent result. An excellent return on investment. Yes. It was a lifestyle change, actually. So Yeah. We should talk about your lifestyle thing in a second. So where where are you now with your revenue? Are you well, right there? Oh, sure. Sure. And so for that, you know, 350000 an average of 30000 a month or so, um, you know, in that was in 2020. 2021, we did better than that. Um, we, I believe, did, you know, maybe about 430000 that year. But I did have some staff challenges. I had... Um, uh, I gave I gave up uh, everything too soon and uh, had to like take it all back and then redo it and uh, fix it again. I don't know if anybody else has had that. Experience. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> so, yes. Um, and then uh, and then last year, which was 2022, we ended up at um, gosh, did we hit 600,000? And then um, yeah, 630,000 is actually what we hit. And then um, and then this year, um, you know, last year I think we averaged um, you know about. Uh, Fifty to sixty thousand a month, and then this year we're already like towards the end of last year we're already at like eighty thousand every month, and now we're cruising on the into a hundred k a month right now. So very quickly this has happened. Yeah, hundred yeah. k a month is more than a million a year. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like you're, you're you're crushing it, and you realize that like even just being at at a hundred thousand a year, you're in the top five percent of business owners in the world. I don't even know what that that. Um, percentages for women business owners, but at a million, you're you're like in the you know one percent, under one percent, yeah. Um, tell tell me about tell me about your lifestyle because you're really good at lifestyle now, Bethany. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, I kind of unapologetically love my life. Uh, I ended up getting engaged shortly after I joined Bold Heart and then we eloped in 2020 during lockdown. And my husband has been on this journey with me the whole time. And uh, I gotta say, he's, I think he's loving like every minute of it. Um, one of our first, um, you know, we don't have any kids. And so we just kind of, and we didn't have a wedding. Um, and so we just kind of like, you know, bought some things that, you know, got our lives a little more fun. And so we bought a Porsche convertible, um, mm -hmm. with a stick ship that we still have and we drive it everywhere. We love it. Um, and then, uh, you know, our travel has been amazing. We're always like on the road. Um, even when we travel for work, like we will add, you know, days onto that trip, you know, to have fun. And then also because we're traveling for work together, like, um, if we get delayed or something like it's not a big deal because we're together we're not trying to get back home to anybody i mean the dog for sure but you know we're with each other so if it's a delay we're doing it together and you know we're at the airport lounge you know uh drinking cocktails and you know like I, it's just i don't know it's just kind of fabulous i love our life and we um uh so we got our car situation s settled and you know i got my handbag situation settled years ago and then you know uh, you told us you know like you need to have like a recognizable handbag um, and don't show up in a jalopy. I took it, took, yep. took that part. And, um, uh, and then actually I'm closing on a new house. Um, like the house, like the last house on April 10th. So mm, the last house. I love that. What yeah. I really, you, you bring, you bring mm. so much fun humor to, to the program because you are just unapologetically yourself and you give everybody mm. else this permission to just do do and have what they want. So some people are like, oh, I'm at a million, I'm gonna start a foundation or I'm gonna, you know, whatever. And you're like, yeah, so I want a Porsche, I want a handbag, I wanna travel, and this is who I am. And this is this is the message that we always share at Bold Heart is like having it all, whatever all means to you. Right? Right. And right. You live that you live that beautifully. Um Bethany, like there's some people listening right now and they're thinking, okay, how did you get from like 8K a month to 100K months in what has it been like three years? Yeah. 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 Three years in um, the program. Well, it was a lot of, you know, the tools that I had in Bold Heart. So I really truly could not have done it without Bold Heart. Um, and so, you know, from a practical standpoint, you know, using Asana for our project management and, um, you know, uh, using Slack for our communications and things like that. And then, you know, um, elevating my project manager and, 
creating training materials on Loom and, you know, I hired an integrator because, you know, you had said, I don't, I haven't worked with anyone uh, uh, that's gotten to a million without the help of an integrator. And I was like, well, I got to get one. I hired one too soon but not, and didn't really tell her what to do. And then when I actually got a fractional integrator, um, Susan, um, that knows what they're doing, um, she has been just transformative for my business. And so now, like, I really don't have a part in um, production at all unless I want to, you know, unless there's like a, you know, we have like some really um, prestigious clients that we're working with right now. And I just want to kind of, you know, nudge their projects along and that's okay. Yeah. Happy yeah. to do it. What would you say are the aspects of the program? So w w th what I'm hearing is you really appreciate having a strategy. Like, yes. When you show up to our meetings, you get the strategy, you get the tools, and you just make them happen, right? Because you're yeah. you're like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Yes. That's kind of who you are. Yes. What are the other aspects of the program that you have not seen elsewhere or that you have really worked for you? Um, I would say having um, an accountability buddy has been useful for me. Um, I, you know, I really didn't research other programs. I wasn't looking for, you know, help at the time. And so this solution kind of appeared. It was, you know what you presented seemed logical that it was going to make sense to me. And, um, uh, and you know, here we are. So, yeah. So not bad from 100,000 to it's going to be a million at the end of this year in yeah. three and a half years. Wow. When you put it like yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> not too shabby. Is that too shabby? Well yeah, done. Too shabby. And like, I'm not like a fangirl, but like I, you know, I really, I could not have done Fabian. Like my life is amazing because you're in it, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a, it's a deep pleasure. I, I truly believe you've heard me say this a million times. I believe that women should make their own money and lots of it. Oh yeah. Um, just because so often we are beholden to the people who make more money than us, whether that is uh, wherever the money comes from, that person has control. But when the money comes from us, we call the shots, we have a voice, we have a choice, and and I believe we have a, a great responsibility to to have it all, whatever all means to us, and to make our own happiness. And um, and I just I just really want to appreciate you for coming in here and sharing your story. You know, some people don't share details, and so. Others are like, oh, yeah, well, maybe this is fake. How did you do it? But, like, you're always willing to share the exactly what you've done, what's happened because of it. It's super inspiring. Thank you. Thanks, Bethany. Thanks, everybody. I hope this was inspiring for you. Lots of love. Talk to you soon.